noodle bars, car services. Across Wuhan streets, signs of life are emerging. But inside the residential compounds, vigilance is still observed. Unnecessary outings are discouraged. Deliveries are stopped at the gate. And those returning to Wuhan from elsewhere are required to declare their health status and register with their residential committee. The task of following up on returnees, as well as other special groups such as COVID-19 patients and the elderly, falls on community workers such as Zhang Xuemei. Among the residents that John has been paying a regular visit to, is 92-year-old Huang Ronggao. <laughs> During the entire epidemic, Huang has mainly relied on Zhang Xuemei and her colleagues for food and other daily necessities. Prior to the outbreak, Huang Ronggao took at least two leisurely walks a day outdoors. Now, his daily routine is not possible. But Huang says he understands the restrictions, as the initial success in containing the epidemic did not come easy. Xu Mengqi, CGTN, Wuhan.